Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish, and welcome back to Disciples 2. Ms. Dark Soul, well, her army took a little bit of a beating last time, but that's okay, because we have a Draco Lich and two Phantom Warriors. So, who cares? We are also in charge of, well, a goodly chunk of the map now. As you can see, we have managed to take every town that we've come across. We still have a little bit of cleaning to do because, of course, we've got some neutral units out here that are blocking our way to some treasure chests. But, but, we are doing very well. Master. Mr. Bloodborne is even doing pretty good because some of these, uh, yeah, some of these clans units... I thought they were going to chew us up and spit us out. I was worried about it, but with the right combination of buffs, anything is possible. Not a hundred percent sure whether maybe I ought to heal this wyvern. Hmm. We'll find out. Vengeance is near. For now, though, we have Infernal Mana, we have Life Mana, we've got Runestone, we have everything coming in now, which is great. That's where we want to be. So, Rodney 28 is what we're on. <laughs> She's going to hang out here for a bit while we finish up in this little area, and then by the time that all of this snow has turned into Wasteland, we're going to come over here and take this town, too. And we're going to continue on around the bend. And the whole time, I am hoping that Artie is going to be feeding on all of these, like, you know, whatever the legions and the clans managed to, to sneak up here. Let's see, actually, I am I'm going to send her up this... No, no, no. Immediately screwed it up. We're off to a great start. <laughs> That's completely my fault, though. Do over. Do over. That was just foolishness. I knew as soon as I clicked that I'd done it because I clicked here, and the game's pathfinding really just wants you to take the shortest route because movement points are so precious, and they don't care who you have to fight to get there. But I care, especially when Rodney has no one in her party, so... She can't deal damage. She literally can't do anything. We're just going to send her up here, and hopefully after Mr. Bloodborne takes care of this party, she's going to pull this rod, and we're going to have more life mana. And perhaps even more importantly, uh, the clans are going to have less. Now I'm going to go this way first. Let's see. We've got an ogre up here. I think we're probably going to be good to go. We could heal a little bit, but it's so expensive because, see where this is a fifth tier unit, look at that. To recover a little over half their health, almost 600 gold. So, we're gonna start small. She got 50 movement points, so starting small is uh, very doable. Look at that. Oh, okay, I thought I was going to be able to go around this way, but it looks like maybe... Yeah, it's blocked. Okay, so we have to go this direction anyway. That's fine. Burn their souls. That's okay. Come on, get paralyzed. Not that one? Okay. Oh, we didn't get either of them. That's alright, it doesn't matter. Because we just got both of them. Hey! All right, now I'm going to let the autosave protect us here. We're going to see if perhaps... Yeah, okay. I wondered about that. I wasn't sure if they were going to come get us or not. Hmm. If that's the case, because they deal so much damage and they've got a Forge Guardian too, probably I'm going to have to heal this Wyvern. Because, see, they leveled up, the two of them, but the Wyvern did not. It might level up after this battle, though, considering, like, where it's at, 252. So that's what we got from the last fight. This party's about the same, I think. So here, let me do this. Yep, 
Yeah, we roasted that wolf, Crow, and now we are going to uh, roast us some giants and barbarians as well. Okay, so what I need to do then is I'm going to heal this... Wait a minute. Okay, no, that is... Hmm. Oh, okay. I saw the potions down here, and I forgot it didn't get saved after the Rodney incident. There, that's that's the problem. Okay, so we save it beforehand, and then if they're gonna come and get us anyway, what I want to do is empower and protect this party, and then let them use the defense bonus from the town if possible. So let's do an Earth Ward. That will protect Artie from a single hit by the Rock Giant. Do we have enough left for a... Yes, we have exactly enough left for a Holy Strength. Oh, oh no, because I, uh, we're missing 50 Infernal Mana. That's okay. That's alright. We have some Death Mana too. Armor... Do they have armor? No, okay. So let's see. Let's do this. Do we have Touch of Mortis? We can't ref Okay, that's that's Infernal Mana. Most of this is going to be Infernal Mana, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, dang it. And anything higher level is actually going to take more, so we're stuck with what we have. That's fine. We'll do Curse of Nagral. And let's also do weakness. And I think the only other thing we can do is probably this. We can hit them for 50 damage to get us started. And that's that's us pretty much tapped as far as mana goes. Alright. Oh, look at this. I don't know if this has ever happened before. Gunra, Lord of the Legions of the Damned, offers you the spell Menta Minoris for 277 gold coins. It is worth 200. Do you accept? Now, of course, yeah, it's only worth 200, so they're gouging us a little bit. But the thing is, what's happened here is we have fought the clans enough that because they're also at war with the legions, the legions have started to like us. So they're offering us this, and if we accept it, then they're going to like us a little bit more because when you trade with someone, their opinion of you goes up. Should we take it? Mental Minoris just deals 15 mind damage, and it only costs 100 Infernal Mana. We need Infernal Mana for other stuff, but this could help to get the legions off our back a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, this is a rare opportunity for us to get a spell we otherwise might not have access to. Bethrazen may have need of you again. Hmm, maybe. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have used the Staff of Protection to give them armor, and it would have stacked. Hmm. I probably should have done that. I forgot. That may be important. Okay. Let's see, he deals 90, this guy actually deals more. I think I'm going to have to defend. damage because he's leveled up, so... Uh, I have to. It has to be that guy or he'll take the specter out. Okay. I think this is doable if I do the armor spell also, which we have exactly enough life mana to do. Let 
me give it a try. They will feel my power. Oh, actually. Oh, she has a bunch of scrolls. I forgot about that. What? Here, let's... There's the staff. We want them to be confident enough to come into the town after us, but, like, we still want them to lose. Do we have anything else? Air Ward, Strength, that's probably, that's not going to help a lot. We could put that on us and the Wyvern would do a little bit more damage, but probably not enough to really do much. Hmm. This Summon Valkyrie might be worth it. We could get a couple hits in on that, perhaps. Okay. Let's... Master. Let's let them come at us one more time. I want to see how much the Holy Armor does for us. How much difference that makes. If it doesn't make enough difference, then... We'll just go ahead and we will... Okay, that that helped. That did help. Okay, so I can paralyze... Oh, don't miss! No, no, no. Okay, well he missed too. That's more acceptable. I was hoping to protect um, Artie from at least one hit. But see, now, one more hit against her by the Forge Guardian will will take her out, so... But... If we can survive long enough, a couple more hits to take the Forge Guardian down, see... Come on, y'all should miss more than this, honestly. Hit him in the hopes that he'll hit back. Miss. Oh. Mmm. Dang it. Yeah, that's not working. Okay. We're, it's going to have to be the Valkyrie. We just don't have the DPS. We just don't have the DPS, is the problem. We have some survivability, but we're not hurting them back fast enough. But that's okay. That's what these free scrolls are for. And we have a lot of them left over sometimes at the end of a um, at the end of a scenario. So like we might as well use them when we have them, right? There's no better time than when you're low on mana. Because see, she's gonna hit everybody for 55 damage. Oh, I'm actually glad he did that because he wasted that potion, which I would love to have. But it means he doesn't have it to use in the next battle, and it means I can do more than one hit without killing everybody, or killing somebody. Because if I had hit again, it would have been enough damage to kill the Forge Guardian. This way, it's not. Okay. All right. Come on, now I think maybe we can do it. Ooh, a treaty this time. Okay, sure. You have been spared Bethrizen's anger. Alright, whatever. I mean, they're going to break that treaty. We've seen that before in the First Disciples. Oh, now they run. Dang it. You've got to pick... Ah, uh, I want them to attack us, though. Because otherwise, see all of those buffs we spent for nothing. Man, we're off to a rough start. The AI is not cooperating. There's probably some way to, like... I don't know, to, to get the AI to, to, to manipulate it and make it do more of what you want. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, so it looks like now with that, that damage, they're no longer willing to fight us. What? So... If that's the case, and I see why, like, she she did a good number on them. Okay, then we're just going to have to go out and get them, which means we're going to lose some of our armor. They will suffer. 
but we can make this happen. We still have a free hit from the, the giant. Come on now. All right, let's see. What's the best way to do this? The wyvern will take out the chieftain. But he's going to go first. And now that our free hit from the rock giant is passed thanks to Earthward. It's just, uh, if both of them hit, unless one of them misses, they're going to kill Artie. And we can't count on that. So paralyzing the Forge Guardian to save our Spectre may not be an option. I think what I may have to do is paralyze the Chieftain to make sure that he doesn't hit Artie. And let this and, and hope that maybe the Forge Guardian misses the Spectre. And he didn't. Okay, that's fine, but I'm willing to take that as long as we can actually get through the fight. Because see, now what'll happen, he's down. There goes the rock giant. This guy's gonna get another hit. Go. And Artie finishes this off. Ooh, and that's about the best I think it can go. Because see, this is what we needed. This was the guy that needed to level up, and that's more than was necessary, so we did miss out on a little bit of experience that would have been spread almost perfectly if the Spectre had made it, and I hate that she's going to miss a big chunk, but I think we I think we have to take our lumps on this one because I've already loaded like a bazillion times, so I, I think it just has to happen. You can also see how, like, reloading creates a new random seed. So, um, the AI is going to do things based on specific triggers, of course. But, you notice that uh, the demons did not offer to trade the spell again. And, yeah, that's, that's about as good as it's going to get. The, the, the demons didn't offer to trade their spell again, and... Um, they didn't offer us a treaty, but they might. Like, that's not... That's not off the table. Because, let's check our diplomacy screen. We've just not looked in there in a while. Oh, yeah, see? Like, we're technically... See, they're at war with each other, but we're at peace with the legions at the moment. We just haven't beaten up on them as much as we have the clans, and because the two of them are at war, every time we fight the clans, the legions like us better. So, we may even get, like, uh, an offer of alliance or something, which would be hysterical. There we go, we got that good, good paralysis. Goodbye. How's this party doing? Okay, she's on her way to a level. Of course, it's gonna take, you know, our Draco Lich forever. They're about a quarter of the way. And she's almost halfway. Not quite halfway. That's not bad. Potion of Strength. Cool. Vithar's Might Scroll. Excellent. Another buff. 10% damage. That'll stack with the Strength spell, actually. Which is really awesome. So, we can pile that on later when we need it. Oh. Misclick. Burn their souls. Now. Let's see if we can paralyze these spiders before they hit somebody. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. That's what I worried about. If they if they both inflict paralysis, they get to go before the spiders do. I'm trying to do as much as I can with like wounded troops so that we don't have to keep going back to town. Because it does cost a lot of money to heal. Love that attack. 
Oh, really? Okay. Yes, the difference between these two spiders. I don't know if we've seen them both in the same party before. So, of course, this spider deals, you know, inflicts poison. This one hits a little bit harder and inflicts paralysis because their overall DPS is going to be lower. And so the giant spiders uh, versus the giant black spiders, they're a little bit tougher and they're more of like a hunter spider. Most importantly, they're a dead spider. Hey, I put her a lot closer to another level. Oh, I'm shut up, Bone Lord. Yep, there we go. Now we've got the treaty. Okay, cool. Now, of course, eventually they're going to betray us. The AI just be like that. And we're not worried about it. Now, what it means is that while we're at peace... See... Alliance with Gunra, so that means that we cannot do things like break their rods, we cannot attack them directly or take towns, um, you know, that are under their control, and uh, we cannot plant rods on lava. But sooner or later, they're going to get tired of being buddy buddy with us. So. Okay, let's head back down here. She doesn't have enough movement points to get quite all the way over there, I don't think. We'll give her a turn in town and let her regenerate. Let's see. 500 gold coins. That's probably overall like a better use of our money. Um, but it also is still a lot, so I'm going to wait and we'll let her we'll let her rest and see how much it heals her. And then we can pay to heal the rest of the way if we need to. Now, because we are currently in alliance with the Legions, I want to make sure to get this broken and a new rod planted before they come up here and do it. Because if they come up here first and a Baroness turns this into lava, then until we break the alliance or they do, we're out of this life mono. How are you doing? They're almost up. There Okay, now I think I'm just going to go ahead and... 369 to heal. Triple nice. Um. Let's get this middle guy first because there's a damage booster and a barbarian. But we get two shots to paralyze him before he goes. There we go. And these other fools are just fodder for Ms. Dark Soul. Not worried. Hey, they both went before the wolves did. That's unusual. The wolves will get one hit. That's fine. And there's our shade leveling up. Awesome. So she's up to 54% plus 8. So 62. Nice. When they level up, their paralysis chance is going to increase as well. She's almost halfway. We're closing in. I, will avenge myself. I don't want to have another Rodney incident. <laughs> so I'm clicking over on her to make sure that we don't, like, forget to take her turn. Yeah, go ahead. Waste your mana. That's fine. I think we researched Nightfall, didn't we? Yeah, I just haven't cast it yet because we wound up needing the mana for other stuff. They will feel my power. Orb of Vigor. Okay, sure. Burn their souls. Are they a little bit faster? Initiative 50? Initiative 50? No, we're just getting lucky. Okay, well, I mean, that's fine. I'll take good luck. I'm not mad about that. Let's go ahead and get started. Heading across the river. That way that will cost us less movement next turn. Really? Okay, I'm probably going to have to shadow over her just to keep her 
or they're going to ice pillar her to death. Let's go up and do that because she's going to lose this turn, of course. Let's see. This is going to cost 400 death mana and 200 of these other kinds. I hate to spend that much, but honestly, I think I'm just going to I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it because that way it fills in all of the little spaces down and around here that they may have been or that they've seen like over the edges of the mountains and stuff and we don't know everything that they can see or that they've uncovered so that that covers us literally vengeance is near burn their souls bear goes first Only you can prevent... Well, I guess you really can't prevent these fires, can you? Oop, it's gonna get another turn. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. And now bear a la flambe. Alright, this is just... Okay, you know what? Let's swap them. That way, this bear hits the less wounded one. Okay. Not doing too badly. I was hoping to take that guy down, but... Please hit. Oh, really? Wow. Barely made it out of there. Dang. Well, we're going to have to heal before we can do anything else. That's all right. At least we have a place to do that. Head back this way. I want to see what the legions are doing over here. Hmm. Oh, this is another great feature. Um, since we're allied with them, it's kind of like having a spy. We can just see what's in their party and don't have to worry about it. Which is, that's great. Here's the thing, though. Where are you going? Oh, I just saw. Barely made it. Uh... uh... Okay, I'm going to move her over here just in case they come up here and decide to, like, you know, break the alliance or something. That's a thief. What? I think we're good. It, that's going to cost a lot, but we have the money at this point. Like, we're not using it to spend it on anything. I believe we have built all of the buildings that we need to purchase. The only other thing might be... I, I can't remember if we bought the werewolf lair or not. There we go. Now we've got another town. That makes it a little easier to heal. And you can see, too, some of these big, powerful, like, units, uh, the barbarians and the bears and stuff like that. They keep throwing them at us in great numbers because this is the next-to-last scenario in the saga, and they expect us to be using a hero like Ms. Dark Soul, so they're trying to challenge us. Ahem. My children were eaten by the beasts that lurk in the mountains. I hope they devour you, too, undead. <laughs> Death not Dunker. He does not care. <laughs> Foolish knave. Mortis will prevail in her task to revive Galleon. No beasts can stop us. That's probably true. Nothing. Sometimes they leave items, as you may have seen before, and I always have to check. What? She got no movement points. Okay, fair enough. I will avenge 
Oh, wait. I want to check and see if I was right. We did all that, did all that. Okay, so we have not built that. And we haven't built anything for the mages because we're not using them. This time we're using dragons. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and build this, actually. There we go. That way we can hire werewolves, expensive as they are. That might be useful to put um, in Artie's front line. Now listen, we just cast Nightfall. You you can't be going down here doing, like, just screwing around, doing what you please. You just can't. You can't. Orb of Life, ironic. Two bears this time. Hmm. There we go. It's okay to spread out attacks with um, phantom warriors to a degree because their paralysis lasts more than one turn, unlike the shade. It's kind of like poison where sometimes it takes more than one turn to shake it. Shake it off, shake, shake it off. Let's see. She's the one I'm really interested in because everyone else is gravy, but she's the one that's going on, you know, obviously. So we have passed the halfway mark. A bronze ring, a lightning scroll. Awesome. And what do you have for sale? Nothing. But they will buy stuff. I do miss the individual illustrations for the different merchants uh, from the first Disciples game. And... Let's see, Talisman of Bane. We can't use Talismans, so there's 400 gold. Look at that, we've already basically made back what we just spent on the werewolves. And, uh, sorry, you may be right. Um, I actually am not sure if Nightfall works on allies or not because it says... Yeah, non-allied players. That's fine. Okay, well, that actually... I don't feel too bad. Because that means it still worked on the clans, and it wouldn't have worked on them anyway, so if he wants to come down here and screw around, then he can do whatever he wants. Who cur? I'm not used to being allied with uh, AI players, so... <laughs> Better go back and get that little clans guy, Archdevil. Especially because I don't have anywhere else to be right now except in your way. I got full health and places to go. It's time to push the front a little bit. We gotta go over this way. Ooh! Now he wants to sell us more spells. I will absolutely take this one because Kronos reduces the target's initiative by 15%. And we already have a spell that does that. Our dealings have been satisfactory. Sure. It makes it look like he came down here to trade with her and then turned around and left after we made the deal. It's like, you got the stuff? What are you buying? But, uh, let's see, where is it? Is it... Yes, Terror. Here we go. Reduces by 33% the initiative of the target units. But look how much it costs to cast. So, Kronos is a second level spell that just costs 200 Infernal Mana. But, if we really need it, if they're, like, really fast units, say, um, Imperial Assassins. It stacks with Terror for a total of a 48% decrease in initiative, which is basically half. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Vengeance is near. Now, if I move, he can't get past me, like, right here. If I move, however, he'll be able to go round. But eventually, I mean, he's just going to go around anyway. So I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to do it. There we go. You can hear the bubbling of the lava pits. Yeah. 
I think that the clans may have lured him back. What's this guy? This is a counselor with three possessed. Okay, so they don't have any good parties really right now. Let me get down here and see... Okay, see, I'm actually going to wait. I almost kind of screwed myself. I'm going to wait right here because a battle will cost her 25 movement points because it takes half of your maximum. So if I killed this ogre this turn, one of them would probably sweep past us and snatch up this treasure. That's not against the rules of an alliance, not technically. So I'm not going to give them the opportunity. I'm just going to wait and make sure that we can do it in one turn. Also, yes, it might be smart to come down here, actually, while they're not attacking us. I'll get a Rodney down here, and we can either break this rod and then quickly put one of ours down, or we can wait for a Baroness to come over and break the rod and then put one of ours down because she can't plant a new rod in the same turn. So... Excellent. This battle's over. So satisfying. It may look really easy, but of course, that's your reward for leveling up all of these, like, really powerful, cool units. That's the point. That's what you get. When you build your party right, it works properly, too. Oop, there they go. Fighting each other. I will avenge myself. There we go. Okay, now this lava looks like it's not expanding. That's from where they had a rod there. So I think since I can't make it all the way down anyway, what I may do is plant a rod up here as well so that it will keep spreading. And that way we'll have wasteland all around and make it more difficult for them to reposition a rod. Because she's going to break this one, but it's probably going to be before we get down there. I'm thinking. Because it looks like, yeah, this is where we'll get, see the marker, one turn. This is where we'll wind up next turn. So she'll break it, then we'll move here, then she'll plant another one before we get there. Hmm. And, um, no, you can't place a rod before destroying the other one because rods have to have a certain amount of space in between them. So, like, if this rod is here, I can't put another one right here claiming the same, um, monocrystal. They have to be a certain distance away from each other, and it's like, see, like, this is like one space, two space, and I think it has to be three or maybe four spaces minimum. They will feel my power. Let's take advantage of this to go exploring. Has this been looted? Ooh, hey, this is, been, this is unexplored. Well, cool. I figured we were going to come up here and, like, this was going to be their capital city, but since that's Infernal Mana and this is all lava, I'm betting it's right over here. This guy's bad news. Ooh, we've not gotten to see one of these yet. This is one of their nastiest units. The Abyssal Devil. Look, he got all kind of little faces on his head. Abyssal Devils emerge from the depths of hell, but rarely. Their appearance can make cowards of the most experienced of warriors. So yeah, 600 hit points. 600. That's a lot. That's dragon levels of hit points. That's more than our Draco Lich has. They hit for 140 weapon damage, and they also petrify you. But look at this. The attack is called Petrify, but the source is mind, not earth. Now that's unusual. So basically, it's paralysis. It's the same thing that we're using. They're calling it petrified because they're making it they're they're making it sound like a fear effect, like you're petrified. So, and yes, they're very purple. It seems like like everything starts out kind of brown and red for the legions, and that's how you know it gets serious. Is at very high levels, everything turns purple and blue. Now, thankfully, as far as we're concerned, the one redeeming quality of an abyssal devil is that they don't have any special defenses. So, not only can we potentially paralyze them ourselves before they get to go, but, um, 
that means they're not immune to like fire or anything else. They're gonna get a hit this turn though. Woof, look at that. Oh, okay. Whoops. Source is Earth, so we need to remember that. So it is mislabeled here, not here. That actually makes more sense, really. That's okay, he hit the best person that he could have hit because he has so many, the Draco Lich has so many hit points. I don't care that you take 200 of them in one shot. 400 gold, very nice. Oh, and an iron skin potion. Hey, now. Now, we have not seen one of these before in this playthrough, and you can tell because look over there at the left, Ms. Dark Soul has a yellow box around her, meaning we haven't used one. This is a permanent potion, as we have found a couple before. Enchanted unit permanently receives 10% less damage from attacks. And yes, of course, like all armor, it stacks with other sources. So if Ms. Dark Soul had had one of these, I would give it to somebody else, maybe the dragon, or perhaps our shade. Uh, but since she hasn't, we're absolutely giving it to her because she can only ever have one. Once you've used it, that's, that's it. But that stacks with her natural armor skill that y'all chose to give her. So now she has 30 armor instead of 20. Very, very worth it. Okay, I guess you can go over that way if you want to. Maybe the clans will finish her off before, uh, before she gets to put a rod down. No? Okay. Well, in that case... Let's see. We can't put a rod on a grave. I'm going to put one here. But what I'm going to do... Let's see. I'm going to come as close as I can so that that way she's not on, like, this side of it. She'll be on this side of it. There we go. That'll make it a little harder. That's all we can really do. This guy's bad news. The Tiamoth is another top tier demon unit. Um, yeah, yeah, I actually don't hate the sound of the lava bubbling. Um, <laughs> unintentional ASMR. <laughs> uh, but the devils evolve up to fifth tier units. And they have two different evolution trees where um, it ends in either on one side you get demons that deal less damage but they hit everybody. And on the other side you have demons that deal more damage um, and but they only hit one person. So the Abyssal Devil is one of those options. And then there's also another one which I think doesn't petrify but inflicts greater damage? Maybe is the trade-off? And then on the other side you have the Tiamoth. Um, and something else, and they hit everybody. So they all evolve from the same unit. Okay, let's go this way. Because she's got forest walks, so none of these trees, that's what these are, are actually interfering with her movement. Oh, and there it is. There's the Legion's capital. See, I figured it would be around here. That's where they're coming from. Let's take the opportunity to explore and we'll clear out as much um, fog of war as we can from this point. While well, they're not mad at us for doing so. I don't know where they think they're going. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's see. We don't have, because we control all of this, so we don't really have garrisons left behind us, and we should probably change that just in case they get, um, you know, too big for their britches. And we know that these work. There we go. Double wyverns works. And they're not super expensive, because they're a hundred a pop. That's a lot for the early game. But it's definitely not a lot for us now.
This way, if they decide that they're gonna, like, you know, suddenly betray us and break the alliance, it doesn't really matter. Because those first level parties they have are not gonna be able to take out two wyverns. And if we put, like, a ghost or maybe a werewolf... Because the ghosts were... Ghosts are useful, but they only have 45 hit points. I feel like for something like, like this party... The Sorcerer and, and the Archdevil would go before the Ghost got a turn and would take her out. Conversely, in this party, the Possessed are powerless against the Ghost, where she's in the back row, but the Counselor, being an Archer, would probably take her out in one shot because his base damage is like 50. So maybe it's actually better for parties like this um, if we put like a Werewolf in front and then we have someone who is immune to weapon damage. That helps to divert their attacks actually towards um, the uh, the wyverns who can soak it up. What? Is that the corner? I think it is. Yep, that's the corner. Okay. Cool. So we found the other corner of the map. Oh, and look here. We also found some losers. Losers. We know what's going to happen now. Where are they going? Like, they are going with purpose, because they are all... heading somewhere. Oh, we just lost our spy. That's okay. Burn their soul. Let's just kill these dudes real quick. I love when Ms. Dark Soul goes on, like, frontliner initiative. Ooh! Our shade just leveled up again. Nice! Very nice. So now she's at 63% uh, accuracy, which she gets a, a decent increase to her HP every time she levels up. So 210 HP for a support unit is great. Uh, but this is way more important, honestly. Where's everybody else at? Uh, about halfway... They're actually closing in on another level. That'll be great because um, since level up bonuses are percentile, that means that HP and damage are going to get a significant jump. Now, of course, paralysis is only going to go up by like 1%, but that's still 1% more than we had. No! Yes, I keep telling you. It also helps that dwarves are slow, so Ms. Dark Soul isn't, like, always going to go first. I don't want to move her too much. Until we can see over here. So Ms. Dark Soul will clear out this area. I want to start summoning some skeletons to scout ahead, uh, but... What the... What the hell was that? I'm actually gonna let that guy go past me. What... What was that? He just kind of came over here and like... Just went here and then went away. Like, was that like base? There wasn't a... Did I leave a treasure lying on the ground and they went over and picked it up? Is that why they were coming over here? Surely not. I feel like I would have seen. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this town. And then the Baronesses, because we're allied, will not be able to plant a rod next to these mana crystals that they obviously want. Uh, because it will be on our territory, our terrain. And I'm gonna let this this proud dwarf go. Because he may make it over here to break this rod. And if so, then we will be literally right there to plant our own. Oh, this is nothing. You going down. Goodbye. We have found an ancient book in this city. 
It speaks of an ancient creature named Doragon. He was a half-god, half-dragon being. Ooh, Doragon, as in the eye thereof? Doragon ruled the dragons for a millennia before he was slain. Since he died, the dragons have caused much suffering and fought amongst themselves to find a new ruler. Ah, oh. hmm, that's useful to know since we have his eye. Mysterious, giant, mystic eye. I love that description. Very good. Okay, uh, and this town is already level four, so we can just do that, because we're going to leave. And eventually, this is probably where we're going to hire, like, Gucci Rat, or we might, um, once we've cleared out this area and gone round down here, we may move Artie down to this town to pen in the legions. Eleven points. I'm gonna do this to like sort of block them in because the Draco Lich is gonna heal anyway, or block them out rather. Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew it. He. Why should we trust in you, man? I don't give a shit what you do. That's so funny. They really wanted those mono crystals. They're not attacking those towns, though. They have to go back up past RDC, is the thing about that. Mm-hmm. They have to walk past Artie to get anywhere, so... Okay, well then, we'll just do this. That alliance didn't last very long, did it? What? Very funny. It's very good. I don't need you anymore, little guy. You are literally just a waste of my movement points. So, let's see. We cannot catch up with her, but we can get back over onto solid ground on that side. And what I'll do is the really important towns like this one's already level 5. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a garrison going here as well, because we're probably going to move, like I said before. And then um, these other ones will take lower priority, but I'll get like a werewolf over here maybe, and then upgrade this one to level 5 slowly. Let's see, let's go ahead and I don't think it calls for another nightfall just yet because they're moving around the bend. Yeah, at least we got a good spell out of it. You're right. They will feel my power. It's very funny. When you break the alliance, it immediately, like, sets your relationship with that faction back to zero. But notice how we hit the bottom and kind of bounced back up the other way because the first thing that happened on the next turn after he broke the alliance was we killed a Mountain Clans unit. So, like, if we just ignore them and just keep fighting what? the Mountain Clans, eventually they'll like us again. And what would be very funny is if um, we fought them into a corner and put rods all around their capital city like I have done before, steal their mon and stuff like that, and then just fight the clans enough that, that they like us. Of course, we can't do that because they'll have to hire a baroness to come out and break that stuff, and then Artie will have to kill them, and you know, you know how it is. Oh man, they gotta walk right past him. Hmm. The only thing that might save one of them uh, is that he probably won't have enough movement points to get them both in the same turn. That's very funny. They went back trying to... They really want that Infernal Mana. Okay, well, I mean... Sure. Burn their souls. Why not? I'll just kill you both. Because we're powerful enough now that, like, we can take out her front line in one shot and then her in a second shot. So, like, Ms. Dark Souls not even going to get a turn in a fight like this. Which is fine. She shouldn't have to do all the heavy lifting. 
There we go. Yeah, let's see. You know, it's like, you know, 50 or 60 free XP. NBD. Uh, I can go ahead and level this up. 750. I'm gonna wait. Vengeance gonna wait. is near. And now we can go over here and we can kill this Tiamoth as well. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this was the one he had a sorcerer with him in the back row and two possessed up front. This one just had three possessed. So. Do we have an AoE? They are all sitting like right next to each other. Let's let's get an AoE. Psalm of Death is also an AoE. Mm hmm, that's very tempting. That might almost be better than Deathstorm, actually. Maybe. Because if I do Psalm of Death, they won't be able to get away costs a lot to research and cast. That'd be a thousand death mana to get that off in one turn, though. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go with Death Storm. There we go. My only regret is that we couldn't get the thief as well. Now, I don't think that we probably need to do really anything else. I wish we had fire. But we don't. That's a much higher level um, Empire spell. I think that might be level 4. So we're not going to get that in this map as far as I know. Mm. Damage is probably fine. We have two multi-hitters, so just in case, I'm going to do... I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to go for it. They will suffer. He can't get both, but I don't think the other one can run away fast enough. Oh, they're going to run anyway. Okay. Let's see. Forty initiative versus thirty-five. He might go first. I want to paralyze this guy. Oh, screw you. They both got away. Dang it. Okay. Well. It is what it is. The Spectre can only do so much. She did her best. And we got the leader, so that slows them down, which means now we can concentrate on the counselor. Well, we're gonna have to go through this guy to get him anyway. Let's just kill them both. Well, they really did use healing items, though. That's very funny. This Spectre can't hit Jack. That, that was your fault. We all took like 30 some fire damage because you you couldn't do the thing. Okay, well I have to go after them. Dang it. I want to save those healing potions. If she had if she had paralyzed that sorcerer <sighs> but now if I don't use these healing potions... Well, no, you know what? That's not true. I can go back and heal, and he's gonna move. Like, he's not gonna stay and fight me or attack me anyway. I have options. Oh. I forgot to move Ms. Dark Soul completely. I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe that I did that. I just was so concentrated on on him they will here let me I'm all at sixes and sevens now there we go here I'll 
I'll do this. Since he can't get back into the town. I should have hit the thief first and then went in rather than the other way around, obviously. Let's take out this Baroness so that she's not, uh, she's not screwing around behind us. And then our Banshee friend, she's going to come over here and she's going to start planting rods. And we're going to take the legions out of the game. I'm done with their foolishness. Oh, their spy didn't even last one turn. Oh my gosh. That is so petty. That's so petty. I love it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Alright. Well, y'all know what that means. Rodney, 29. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> God. Miss Dark Soul's gonna have to do guard duty until we, uh, until we can get Artie over here. because we can't let them take that mana from us. Especially since that's their type. We don't want them to have it. Who must die? Okay. Let's blast them with healing. And let's go catch up. Okay. This one will be fine. I am going to put a werewolf right here. That's expensive, but it's... That's where it needs to be. And I think what I might do is maybe, perhaps... Um, I might plant a rod Master. down there by that Infernal Mana as, like, insurance? Here we go. Have a taste of your own medicine. How do you like that? And... Let's also do this. Yes, exit the fortification before planting a rod. Fine. There we go. What? And let's see, Ms. Dark Soul... She's going to come up this way. And then I am going to use the Staff of Protection because I we have the mono, thankfully. And I want to make sure our Spectre survives. Master, they will suffer. They will suffer. Yeah, I hope so. Oop, there they go. Get him. There we go. Okay. Get this guy. We're gonna get everybody but this dude right here. Yeah, he got away. He's so dedicated. Must be the demon possessing him. Excellent. 36. He's going to hit level 3 before too much longer. That'll be nice. He'll get leadership, and then um, we can consider giving him a mage, perhaps. Um, or we can give him, like, a phantom warrior or a werewolf in the front row. There he goes. It's all yours, Artie. I'm going to come down here and see... Okay, there is a little bit of a gap. 
I wondered what was like kind of down here because I wasn't sure if it was going to go all the way through. All right, then we'll come up here and plant rods. Master. Let's finish this guy off because he's got nothing left. Oh, wow, he ran. He must have an item. Or I figured usually they'll do a desperation attack instead. No? Oh, okay, huh. I really thought he was going to have an item. I'm surprised. Now I'm going to reduce the initiative of this demon. Because demons are not really fast anyway. Thankfully. That's what balances out against their strength. See, look at this guy. Attached to Bethrazen's hellish throne. Tiamat is only released during Bethrazen's demented frenzies. Say Bethrazen one more time. 495 health, so that's less than the Abyssal Devil. But, right here, deals 100 damage to everybody. 100 damage to everybody. That's Ms. Dark Soul levels of damage. Um, and reduces their damage. So anyone who is hit by this attack, if they're not warded or immune to mind, their damage is reduced in counterattack. And yes, very toothy. Um, and then of course the other version of the Tiamat, uh, I think deals more damage, but doesn't deal, like doesn't have a special effect. So, let's paralyze him. Or not, but that's okay because he's only got 17 initiative, so that means that our shade should go first. Because otherwise he is going to get a hit. There we go. Because I like their attack, but also I don't want to see it used against me. Hey, there we go. Nice. So their, their attack jumped up to 138. And they got 30 hit points. Very nice. Ms. Dark Souls almost level 12, y'all. Oh, I hope it's this stream. I hope it's this stream. Master. I'm going to research a spell this turn. We have enough, and I should be doing more of that now that we can't afford it. I'm just not sure. I think it might be Psalm of Death, because it's expensive, but it's less expensive to cast. And that's the closest thing we have to, like, their Paraseus spell. Plus it's an AoE, so... There we go. And Ms. Dark Soul is still in the area. So if they try to give Artie any guff... Ooh! We can smell the foul stench of beasts. They lurk ahead. Beware, Master, this is the only passage leading to the Elven Lands. Master, this is the Forbidden Mountain. All who dared enter here have perished. We must not fail, Mortis. We must bring Uther's blood across safely. Well, Uther's blood is very safe. Ah, here we go. Beware. Beasts are approaching. They will attack you. To arms, hordes, prepare for battle. Oh, it do be a dragon, though. Too bad they don't have Mind Ward. <laughs> this is the true power of the Phantom Warrior. That's what dragons get for being slow. Boom, baby. Also, in case you haven't noticed it... Uh, oh, look at that. She got another level out of that. 64. Um, I want to call your attention to... Um, <laughs> two arms, two legs, a head. 
whatever we can get, whatever we can cobble together. Um, I want to call your attention to the death animation of the dragons, because you are going to see that. Like, several times in a row here, real quick. <laughs> um, every faction has their own death animation, right? Like you've seen, for them, it's the green skull that kind of bleh across. And for the Empire, it's the golden cross. Uh, for the, the legions, it's a burst of flame. And um, for the, uh, the mountain clans, it's a swirl of snow. For all of the neutrals, it's that sort of little whoosh of like orange smoke or dust. But for the dragons, they have like a big arc or semicircle of white sparkles. They are the only other monster type that has a special death animation, so dragons specifically count as like their own faction, which is kind of cool. Whoops. Go get them, champ. I'm, I'm just gonna... She's gonna have to step over here for a second. And then we are going to cast... Where is it? Psalm of Death. See, look, that big ol' AoE. Everybody's movement points goes away. I hate to spend that much on slowing one guy, but, you know... It is what it is. Okay, so we're at a really good point in the scenario. This is part of why we brought Doragon's Eye forward. So, you can see there are other dragons, obviously, right? So, if we take Doragon's Eye to this dragon statue... I'm not sure, let me see where it is. It's like right here? There we go. If you did not bring Doragon's Eye forward with you as one of your precious five imported items, you cannot do this, obviously, which is why Wraith Prusheen here makes such a big deal about, uh, you know, like, Mortis has told us you must take the eye. It will be important later. This is what it does. Hordes, place the eye on the dragon statue. It will enable the eye's power. Yes, Prusheen, it will be done. We get a spell animation. You know what that symbol means. Look at this. Master, the dragons are now under our control. The Doragon artifact works. The eye's power enables us to control the dragons near it. But the charm is not eternal. So yeah, Prusheen is telling us, like, this is gonna wear off. So see, they've all got our little flag, except for this guy. He's the only one that doesn't. But in a few turns, we're not gonna have control anymore. So, um, this is a great opportunity to, like, you can kind of click in and we can see all of the different dragon stats. We're not going to see a black dragon, for instance. They live deep in the wastelands and live up to 4,000 years. They are immune to death, right? Very nasty. And their acid breath inflicts death damage to everyone. Look at their hit points, too. Ugh. Ugh. Here's a white dragon. Look at those horns. My goodness. 770. They're immune to air, and they deal air damage with their vapor breath to everybody. A rare and beauteous sight. Some say they live up to 3,000 years. The green dragon, of course, we're more familiar with. Look at its weird eye. It's like just a real weird face, and its weird little tiny jaws. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you want to use it while it lasts, because you only have a few turns. Um, fire and fire, of course. Uh, it camouflages itself in forests. Some say they live up to 3,000 years. The blue dragon we have seen. Water damage, steam breath. They make its home near, you know, near water. 
So the red dragon, of course, is also fire, but it's very strong. Now, um, there's only so much you can realistically do. These dragons are less of a problem than they could be for us. Because, um, uh, because, of course, Ms. Dark Soul is so powerful and we have phantom warriors and stuff. But still. This seems to be a dragon cemetery, Master. The dragons have inhabited these lands for many centuries. We should be cautious. Sure, whatever. Thanks for the advice. Here we go. I'm going to have these two fight because, of course, um, our biggest problems are going to be the red, green, and black dragons because the red and green dragons are immune to fire, and that's where most of our damage comes from, thanks to Ms. Dark Soul. Uh, we, con uh, conversely, are not immune to fire, so they're going to hit us pretty hard, right? Mythological red dragon can be found near lava pits and volcanoes, lived to 4,000 years, yada, yada, yada. Um... The black dragon is going to be a bit of a problem, weirdly less so, because of course it's immune to death, so that means that our Draco Lich can't hurt it, but Ms. Dark Soul and the Phantom Warriors can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these two fight a little bit. Oh, he missed. And then Black Dragon's gonna run away. There we go. Now the Red Dragon is wounded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to stack these other dragons up so that they are kind of like in each other's way. That gives us some room to work they with. Will feel my power. And it also puts them together in a big group. So that when we lose control, we can hit them with, like, Psalm of Death, for example. And we could even hit some of them with uh, Death Storm. Let's see what's in here. Oh, three dragons. Okay. And an Elf Lord. I don't know if we've seen one of these yet in Disciples 2. They're pretty beefy mages. They're faster than the average mage, because, of course, they're elves. So just like the mountain clans are slow, elves are fast. They hit everybody for 50 air damage, and they have air ward and almost 200 hit points, which is more, look at that, than Ms. Dark Soul has at almost level 12. The Elf Lord staunchly defends his people by summoning powerful storms. And I like that they're armored. That's pretty cool. I also like their voice lines because they, like, yell at you in Elvish. There we go. So he's going to get one hit. Oh! The dragon, actually, the white dragon, broke its paralysis. Wild. Neither of them is immune to death damage, so... Two dragons, as you can see, is, like, a bit much. Can't hurt it with her, so we will finish it off with the Draco Witch. Dragon v. Dragon. There we go. That's a lot. That's a lot of experience. Look at that. So now we have a level 5 Draco Lich. His damage jumped up to 83, and he got a bunch of hit points. Very nice, but more importantly, Ms. Dark Soul is now level 12, baby. Base damage is now 81. What do we get? What do we get? 800 gold, nice. Ooh, a Ring of the Ages! Oh, 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 that's so worth it! I'm so excited! Oh my gosh! Ring of the Ages, this is one of the best artifacts in the game. I'm so excited. The leader equipped with this item inflicts 40%
more damage in battle, and their initiative increases by 25%. So check this out. Ms. Dark Soul already dealing 133 damage, and she got 44 initiative because we gave her a Quicksilver Potion. We don't need that loot. We're not using the shops anyway. Look at this. Look at this. So now she has 55 initiatives. So she's going to go before most frontliners go. She's going on almost the same initiative um, that like Imperial Assassins and a lot of Archers go, where they'll have around 60. And she's dealing almost 200 damage. 186 damage. That's so good. That's so good, y'all. Plus, we healed from that, so, like, that's that's just so good. That's so good. Oh, my gosh. That's great. We need to take that town so that we can heal and defend against the dragons. And the clans, of course, are down here, so we got to keep going. We'll do that next turn. Okay. We should be good. Shouldn't have to heal this turn. Oh, it really did only last one turn. Wow. A single turn? That's wild. Okay. So, our new skill that we have access to this time, of course, we've got Pathfinding, we've got Water, we've got all the stuff that we had before. We now also have access to Earth Ward. That's really exciting because you know that um, the clans have a lot of earth attacks, right? Like mountain giants and rock giants deal earth damage. The lore master deals earth damage. They have a lot of earth-based spells. The legions have a couple spells that deal earth damage, like uh, Projicere Terra. Um, but also, gargoyles deal earth damage. And if you have Earth Ward, it protects you from things like Petrify. So the first instance of Petrify from an Abyssal Devil or a Medusa or similar, or an Incubus, won't affect you. That's really cool. Now, this is also not a bad time to take Toughness. We have to think carefully about our next couple levels because... I'm guessing that since we have one whole map left, Ms. Dark Soul is going to gain at least one more level before the campaign ends. But that might be the last level she gains. So we've got this one right here, right now, and maybe one more that we're probably loosely guaranteed. I'm, I won't say it's guaranteed. We've, we're likely to have one level. So we have to really carefully consider if we're going to take Pathfinding, if we're going to take Water Ward, Earth Ward, or Toughness, now is the time that we need to make that decision, and that's that's really what's left on the list. We know we're not going to take Arcane Power. We know we're not going to take Arcane Knowledge. We've already decided against that. Incorruptible, we don't really need. Keen Sight, we definitely don't need. Accuracy is useless to us at this point in the game. And Natural Healing, um, I would rather have Toughness and get 20% more health to go with her 30 armor than to recover 15% of her total health each day. Not to mention the fact that even if I was going to take Natural Healing, I would want to take Toughness first because then she's going to heal more. So, that means it's Pathfinding for extra movement. We got 50 movement points right now, plus whatever she got from leveling up. Water Ward or Earth Ward for protection. Earth Ward is going to protect us against a broader variety of attacks. Um, because the legions and the elves also have some earth-based attacks. Water Ward is going to protect us less, but the clans, who have historically been our biggest enemy, have a lot of water-based attacks. They have more water-based attacks than they do earth-based attacks by far. It's just that's not going to protect us from the legions. But, I mean, it is what it is. But that will protect her from things like, you know, uh, Yeti, Frost Breath, the... the uh, Wolf Lord, uh, the Mountaineer, a, a lot of those spells, like, she'll just become immune to things like Ice Pillar or Vengeance of Ymir. Toughness, of course, more HP, always good, especially since she still has sub-200 hit points 
at level 12. And 30 armor is nice. But if something hits us for like 200 damage, it's, it's still going to kill her. So, personally, because we already have 50 movement points and that's serving us really well. I'm thinking that since this could be our last level or next to the last level, I'm leaning towards a special ability. Toughness is very attractive. But Earth Ward is also very attractive, because any of the wards is just going to make her immune to, like, world map spells. It's so hard to choose, though. It really is. But Earth Ward probably is going to protect her from a stronger variety of attacks, like I said. So, I think that's what I'm leaning towards. I will defer to y'all if you have a suggestion or a preference. But otherwise, if you don't, I think I'm going to take Earth Ward. Because I'm thinking of Lore Masters, I'm thinking of Gargoyles... On the other hand, though, actually, you know what? I'm going to retract that. I'm going to say I'm actually leaning towards Water Ward because I don't think that we fight the Legions in the next map. I'm not sure. Um, but the clans are going to be there again. And there are more AoE effects that can reach her in the back row that are water than Earth, because there is just the Lore Master and the Gargoyles. And a Lore Master against her is generally only going to get one shot anyway before she takes it down if, if he doesn't die before he even gets a turn, especially since now she has an initiative of 55. So actually, I'm thinking maybe Water Ward instead, because that would protect her from, from, from more AoE attacks against the clans. Yeah. Okay, um, going once, going twice, and then we're going with Water Ward. That'll protect her from stuff like Vengeance of Emir, like I said, which is, that was a, the bane of our existence in, um, The First Disciples. Really? Okay, let's see. 40 initiative, 40 initiative, 35 initiative. He's gonna go next. I wanna make sure the leader doesn't get away. Come on, come on. Aww. Oh, that one little cultist with 2 HP. Dang it. That's okay, you're trapped in here with us. We're not trapped in here with you. Okay. They will feel my power. So here's what we're going to do now. <laughs> First, we're going to do the Staff of Protection. Because each of these other units, it's just a single dragon. So, we should be good because we've got two chances to paralyze them with our Phantom Warriors, and a pretty good chance to do so before they get a turn. Also, Ms. Dark Soul is going to go, and she's going to get at least one hit. So, I think we should be safe. So, I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to play it spicy. I'm not going to heal. Burn their souls. We're going to take the red dragon down. Oh, see, immune. There we go, it's paralyzed. And then we are going to let the other dragons hopefully come to us. I hit it again out of habit. I should just be defending her. There we go. See, and when it breaks paralysis, then because it goes on a 40, if it goes last, we have another chance to re-paralyze it with our shade right away, which is great. 
See, and look at this. 786 experience points from that one dragon. This is where the money is, baby. And we got four more dragons left. We got four more dragons, so we might hit level 13 in this map. But if not, we're guaranteed to hit level 13. I, I think I can say that now. Level 10, that's 57, so she's at now 65% accuracy. They got 380 health, 151 damage. You love to see it. You really do. Okay. Master. I'm going to let the autosave protect us. I'll just load it from there if things go wrong. And the dragons chose not to do anything. Okay. They will suffer. <sighs> Goodbye. For what it's worth. There we go. Let's go up there and take our the gold first. Because if we take their gold then um, they'll still be able to cast spells, but it will be a lot harder for them to hire new parties and, like, baronesses and stuff to aggravate us. So I'm going to go for their gold first. They will feel my power. Now, dragons have Buku health regeneration, but I think we've got a working strategy. I was hoping they were going to come to us, but... Burn their souls. Oh, I hit the green dragons to the blue one. Well, that's fine. I honestly don't care. Oh, it's immune to fire, see? Orm is Dark Soul. Look, she's going before everybody now, though. 282, that's good. Can I get around you? No, I'm going to have to fight the blue one. It's not immune to fire. But much like with the devils, their, their power is balanced by the fact that they're slow, so you get a chance to debuff them or hit them and try to paralyze them or something first. Oof. Okay. That's fair. Neither of them managed to paralyze it. 515 XP. Oh, we'll level up again. Okay, they didn't move again. Once more, I'm going to save it. I'm going to do a safety here. This is also not immune to fire. Actually, you know, I just realized, I didn't think about this when I said it before, that the black dragon was the second most dangerous after, like, the fire dragons. The black dragon literally can't hurt us because it deals death damage. Hilarious. See, it has to defend. Our Draco Lich um, can't deal, can't do anything to it. But everybody else deals something other than death damage, so... Hysterically funny. There we go. 793. That's another level for our beautiful Shade. She's halfway up to level 13 again already, and look at that. They're closing in on level 8. This other dragon might level our Phantom Warriors up again. Let's do it. It's only going to get one turn no matter what happens, so even if we hadn't paralyzed it, it couldn't kill us. It stands out so well against, like, this bright, vivid red of the lava. Now watch the animation, like I mentioned before, when it dies. See that, like, semicircle of whoosh? 530, that did it. They're at, they just broke 400 HP and now deal 164 damage. And have 53% chance to paralyze. He's gonna level up again soon. Very nice. Okay, 
Okay, he's going to run interference. Hopefully they'll have to go through him to get to Rodney if they hire a party. Oh, see, there he goes. Oh, you just made a terrible mistake. Oh, you should totally have gone any other direction because Ms. Dark Soul has nowhere else to go right now. She has no other business to attend to. Hmm. They made this difficult. The trees all over the place are mean that we cannot place a rod directly adjacent to this. We're going to have to put it like one space away. And that will make it easier for their capital to grab it back from us every Master. turn. Okay, well. What? Ooh, an emerald. An imperial crown. So this is worth a thousand coins. This is the most valuable treasure only item. Like we're the only point of this item is to sell it. So this is even more valuable than the royal scepter. An etched circlet. Oh, another good artifact. So here we go. Man, she got a big inventory. The etched circlet. Leader equipped with this item will receive 35% less damage from attacks. 35 armor. That's pretty good. That's very tempting to take with us, actually, because, of course, her damage is great. But that 35 armor would stack with a 30 she's already got. Mmm. That delicious water ward. I don't know, though, because she hasn't died. Like, nothing's killing her. Maybe, well, we'll see. we we got a ways to go before we worry about what artifacts and stuff we're taking with us to the next, uh... Look at... <laughs> Damn. Damn, woman. Kick an ass, though. Kick a whole ass. Yeah, 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 whatever. You're not special. Now this is too close to their capital for us to shadow over her, so she's going to take another hit before we can get her out. But that's okay. Um, there's probably not a reason to put a rod back here, but I think that I might put one right here so that it can join with that one. Master. What? Okay, now we need to take this town. That will get us this, so we don't have to worry too much about it. We don't have to bring Rodney all the way over here if we don't feel like it. We'll get this gold mine that nobody's claimed, because it's on grass and the Empire is not present in this map. Um, and it'll give us a place to heal and fortify. And so it looks like the way this scenario is set up is that the Mountain Clans are given control of certain cities from the beginning of the game. So they had this one. And they had a couple of these over here, because their capital is somewhere, and we have not found it yet, but here's snow, so like it's got to be over in this direction. Because there's the other edge of the map, which means that the corner is right here. Yeah, like right, right here is the corner. So their capital has to be down here. But obviously with all these dragons in the way that we're neutral, um, the clans was not sending all of their units and parties and heroes that they've been hiring up through Nothing here can stop my from their capital, so that, that has to be what it is. Burn their souls. Now see these guys, they got 65 initiative, 65 initiative, so they're gonna go before Ms. Dark Soul, but then she's gonna go immediately afterwards and it won't matter. This Griffin, of course, 105 damage and goes on initiative 50. He might get a turn, maybe. She almost took him out in one shot, too. That's so awesome. Y'all, we've really built a hell of a team. We, we've made a great hero. Well, she's not really a hero, is she? We'll call her our champion. There we go. See, I knew that with at least two characters, you know, that also went on the same initiative, we have a two and three chance, roughly, of going before the griffin does, so. Two green dragons and an oracle elf. Hmm. Annihilate. Yeah, again. 
We may wind up on Rodney 30. There. I'll do that and then get her out in shadow. That's still... I'll double check. Oh, nope. That actually is close enough for them for, to shadow over her. She's just barely outside of the, like, the mandatory non um, foggable, I guess, for lack of a better word, Vengeance radius of their near. capital. I think we can do this. I know we can do this, but just in case, I am going to use the staff because one of those dragons might not get paralyzed and might get a hit on us. And we don't have any way to reduce their initiative or anything, um, you know, since they're inside the castle. Burn their souls. Okay, let's go for it. Paralysis. There's one. Paralyze the other one. I know you can do it. Yes, got them both. And the oracle's gonna go down before she can heal, I think. So the Oracle Elf um, heals one unit. They are a healer. That's all they do. But this one has been leveled up. She's been made into a like a, a champion. So she's the one who has like um, the, the leadership score to have these dragons in her party or whatever. So you can see she's level 4. She heals 78 points. And she has Air Ward. That's not normal for an, an Oracle. excited. There we go. So this is the great thing about having two lines of, of debuffs is um, the the Phantom Warriors are always going to go before the Shade. But then if they paralyze, the Shade has a chance for anybody who um, breaks free on their turn to just re-paralyze them. So you can keep a whole party locked down at all times, which is pretty great. Ooh, we've had really good accuracy this time. That's awesome. You're doing you're doing really well. Thank you, all of you, for your performance. There we go, 765. That is another whole level for our shade. That's a, that's a level up for our Draco Lich, so now we're at 635 health, which is nice, and 91 damage. And also, that's almost half a level for our Phantom Warriors, and look at this! Ms. Dark Soul is so close to leveling up again. One more fight like that and she will. You will not bring that cursed demon blood through these mountains. We will not let you pass. Sister, you can't stop us. Oh, look at this. They left us some goodies. An Elf Lord Orb, a Gold Ring, and some Elven Boots. This is the opposite of the, or the counterpart, rather, of um, the Boots of the Elements. I mentioned these before. The Elven Boots give you no movement penalty when venturing in forests. Of course, we don't need that. We don't need to take it with us. Um, we can actually just sell these, maybe, for cash if we need to. Because um, Ms. Dark Soul has Forest Walk, so, like, whatever. Please yourself. I think. I think that'll do it. Do we need to rest? Yeah, that's a level 5 town. I'm gonna go ahead and give one turn to let them recover HP because the Phantom Warriors are wounded. Actually, I am going to go over here and plant another rod. That way all of this will combine, and once we formed a solid line right here so that all of this is wasteland, it will be easier for it to push back against the capital, and it, the capital will have a harder time reclaiming that gold mine. That's very workable. Vengeance is near. Boy, is it. Oops, some more elves. Be gone, undead. You have no business on our lands. 
trespass and you will be destroyed. Our queen, Taladriel, will not tolerate your intrusion. Bruh. I... I don't... I honestly don't think I could care less. But she got almost everybody. That's wild that she didn't get everybody, considering that she has... 100% chance to hit, but we've been over that before. It's not really 100%, it's a fake 100% chance to hit. That spends her movement. I think, let's see, is there another good place to put a rod around here? What about right here? There we go, that'll help. What? I love that we can go straight through these trees. My wares are the best. Vampire talisman, lich talisman, skeleton champion talisman, and a zombie talisman. Alright, cool. Uh, well, we don't need these. 80 coins. And we're not taking them forward. We have too much other stuff to carry. Um, we probably don't need that. I'm going to hang on to it for a bit. You never know. It may just honestly... We may get to a point where it's more convenient for us to purchase a spell from a mage or something than it is to steal it. Especially if we're not using the money for anything else. But we don't need to hoard artifacts that we have an upgrade for. Like, for example, it's not necessary, um, since we have Forest Walk, to keep the, the Elven Boots. Because we're not going to take them and give them to a champion in the next scenario, like another champion. Um, because we have too much stuff that Ms. Dark Soul needs. Let's see, what are you doing? I actually, I think this might be the end of the map, Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm going to go around this way first. I'm going to save it. Because I think maybe if you... Let's see. Beware, hordes. The clans are coming from the mountains. They are numerous and well-armed. Oh, okay. That opens this and like that's their capital. All right, I mean, cool, I guess. Oh, here we go. We have reached the Elven Lands, Master. We must bring the blood forward. So over here is where we need to bring Uther's blood. We can't actually, like, succeed um, at the map until we bring the blood to a specific point because it's a key item but that's cool because we don't necessarily want to we want to farm the rest of this map Burn their souls. i'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys and get them out of our way because that also like we're not too far from a level from his dark soul oh she almost took everybody out he's gonna get a hit dang They really went for the shade. Almost got her, too. Oh, I keep... I keep forgetting. It doesn't matter. It's the difference between seeing the animation and not. Well, one more fight like that, we won't have to heal the shade. Honestly. Oh, they bought him a party. Lol, we're not shattered in that one little part. Uh oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. There we go. Master. Let's make sure. Yeah, she should be shadowed over here, but... 
and we'll move him back like one more space so that he's in the shadow. There we go. They will feel my power. How much do you need? Not too much. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Psalm of Death. There we go, we'll get pretty much all of them. That will slow them down. Now. Staff of Protection, definitely. This is where we could really use a thief. Uh, I'm debating about whether or not to take these guys out and hope that maybe our shade levels up. Or whether to go back after them and she, she's probably more guaranteed. Either way, I'm going to have to use one of our potions on her, I'm pretty sure. And that's fine. That's okay. I mean, we have a bunch. We haven't used them. This is the end. Burn their soul. Let's go see what they're made of. Ooh, they got a white dragon. Okay. Ooh, we didn't paralyze. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Let me, let me rethink that. We're going to win that fight, but let's take it a little more seriously. Vengeance is near. I wish that Holy Strength affected, like, um, affected the special chance, like the special accuracy, and it just doesn't, but it will affect our shade, and that will still be helpful. How much do you have to level? Okay, there's no way. Oh, oh, but... No, never mind. I thought we had Air Ward and I got excited, but what we have is Water Ward. And that's fine. We can still use that and Earth Ward. Let's reduce that dragon's initiative so that our dragon might go first. That may help a little bit. Burn their souls. There we go. That takes care of the, the damage boost. Paralyze. There we go. That's what we want to see. This should level a bunch of people up and they'll heal so that that way... to spend as many potions. There we go. See, look at that. I got everybody, including Ms. Dark Soul. And that's max for this level. We're caught up, finally. We are caught up. Level 13. That's the best we can be for this map. Okay. Now. We move them. Let's hope that they come to us. Come on, Mountain Clans. Ooh, a spy. Oh, no. They're just all at sixes and sevens. Look at that. They didn't know what the hell they were doing. Okay, so here we go. Whoo wee Another level immediately. Hmm. What do y'all think we should pick for this one? We still have Toughness, of course. We still have Earth Ward, which is still going to be useful. We have one new ability, First Strike. That's also not a bad one. Um, first Strike increases the initiative of the leader by 50%. Now, of course, that's base initiative. So for her, because she's a mage, um, her base initiative is 40, and that has not changed. So that means that she would get plus 20 
so her base initiative would become 60, and that would stack with the 10% bonus that we got from the Quicksilver Potion, um, and also the 25% bonus we have from the Ring of Ages. So she would pretty much go first every time. And given how much damage she's dealing, that might not be a bad idea, especially with her accuracy rate. Because if she went first before everybody, she would be guaranteed to just, like, generally, most of the time, she's going to take a big chunk out of the enemy force. That could really turn a lot of battles around. And for somebody like Count Chaco, it's not as useful. But for her, because she's hitting everybody. So, man. I'm kind of very tempted by that. What do y'all think? Maybe first strike? Because I'm thinking, if not that, then Earth Ward is still good. But I think this is probably the level where, if you don't want first strike, I would probably take toughness. Because, you know, we're fighting big, powerful enemies. We're fighting things like dragons. And if they get a hit, they're going to deal a lot of damage. And you've seen the base damage for some of these creatures is like, you know, 100 plus, 120, 130, 140. Um, and she only has 170 hit points now, like just now. So with 30 armor, that's great. But we're still looking at a lot of damage. So... Now is the time to take toughness at the, you know, the end game and get a big boost all at once because now, um, like twenty percent of two hundred is is forty, so she would be getting not quite forty health. She'd be getting like thirty health. But I'm I'm honestly thinking first strike because she's already going in initiative fifty five, so this would push her to where she's even going before archers like the elves. So yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take first strike. Okay, you come down here and heal. What? And, let's see, once again... Here we go, this thief. They rather cleverly placed this thief, actually. See, look. Boom. What is her initiative now? 40 plus 42. She has 82 initiative. She goes before literally everybody except capital guardians and one or two special bosses that are like, you know, sir not appearing in this film kind of thing. Burn their souls. And she's dealing almost 200 damage. See? Because her damage went up with her level as well. So that is um, 193 damage. <laughs> That's her average. No! Gosh. I will obey. So she's just, she's going to take most people just completely out. Oh no. We killed their spy. Oh. <laughs> we just killed him outright. He tried to step to the wrong lady. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. See, that guy's got ward against fire, but that's okay. And what this also means is that anyone she doesn't kill is drastically softened up. Oop, see, there's water ward. There is water ward immediately came into play because the hermit deals water. So these were good choices that we made this stream. There we go. Oh my gosh. Braylor, I hate that that made me laugh. What? God. What? Let's see. Um, Burn their let's take this guy. Boom. No! Burn their they are numerous and well armed. Oh, well, that's very unfortunate for them, isn't it? They had Fire Ward for a second. Oh, I should have used Earth Ward. We would have taken no damage. Of course, I didn't know that there was a Rock Giant in there, so to be fair. 
There we go. Not bad, not bad. I will master. They will feel my power. Okay. There we go. I think this is probably a good place to leave it. I'm going to do one more thing, and that's this. We need someone to bring the blood forward. Who better to do that but our old pal Gucci Rat? There we go. We'll set him up. That setup works pretty well. So. Master. Uh, we're going to go with waypoints because we want to make sure that the way is clear. So there we go. Uther's blood is on its way because we are close to, um, you know, to, to completing the scenario. Um, so the Bone Lord's staying right there. I'll get into that next time. And this leaves us with kind of an action situation because um, there's, there's going to be stuff to do immediately at the beginning of the next stream. You're healed? Okay. Then you need to come over here. There we go. So we have things for Artie to do. We have things for Gucci Rat to do. We have things for Miss Bloodborne and Rodney to do. I think that that is going to be a good, a good note to begin the next stream on. And that will be next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. And don't forget, if you aren't already, to follow and sub here on Twitch or to subscribe and turn on notifications on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube once I add this to the playlist. If you missed any episodes, of course, you can go to the playlist and you can see the entire series. It's been a lot of fun. I'm glad that y'all are having fun um, and, and that you're here with me. So be sure to show up. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Twitter and Facebook, or you can pledge over on our Patreon. And you can leave comments there as well, and also have a voice in what comes next on the channel. Uh, because, of course, we just finished Chrono Cross, which means this coming Monday, Pixel and I will be taking that stream off to prepare the next series, and we'll be announcing that then. But I will be back on Saturday for Draken. So, that way you've got choices, you've got options, and I have got to go, like, take a nap, honestly. I'll see y'all next time, and until then, as always, thanks for playing.